the proof of life video for ID 2233. Front side of the bench. left side on the right side we'll come around to the rear our exhaust extension here on the back power on the far right corner Plant them in the middle. And our exhaust storage for a bottle chemical storage. Mine is not hooked up for shipping. And there's the other connection for the bottle storage. Here's our facilities in. Two tank drains on the bottom. <clears throat> and then we'll go through a power up. Power the bench up, we just on the far left of the panel, on button, QDR automatically powers up. Tank controllers are powered individually. And here's our hot plate controllers, the stir motor, and the heat. Our waste indicator, waste full, external. And our gooseneck, which is tied to our QDR, controlled by the foot pedal. And we'll start up the QDR with the start button. We have a set point right now. We have it brought down to 30. Turn the heat on. And we can ramp them up to 50 just to make the heater stay on. Heat it on, it'll pulse when it gets close, as it's doing now. If you have a big ramp in temperature, it will stay on. It's going up to about getting me up low low temp just because of our setting. Save, exit, and it is heating trying to achieve our 65 degrees. Towards the middle we have our tank drains. Push in, drain tank one. Tank 2, which is dedicated to the back. Tank 3 and Tank 4 is also dedicated to the back. 5 and 6. <clears throat> Left side is, is our flow control for our stir motor. We have Tank 1, 2, and 3 on this side to control the motors 
and on the opposite side we have our tanks four, five, and six flow control for the stir motor. Nitrogen gun is located on the far right. DI gun is on the left. And the hot plate is in the far right corner. With the controllers right above it. The stir and the heat.